Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about another Try Hack Me machine. We're gonna be getting into Bounty Hacker. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning, let's have some fun. All right, so let me open up my, uh, my notes. So we can see here is, is the room that we're trying to uh, break into today, right? So it's Bounty Hacker. This is pretty much an easy difficulty. Let's see how easy it is. My IP is at 10.10.198.34. So we just have to answer some questions. I started up my machine. I, uh, I deployed the machine and then I found the ports that are open just to alleviate time, save some time. Let's go to here and just put in map as that. All right, so let's go ahead and cat out a bounty. So we have port 21 open, 22, port 80. So we have FTP, SSH, and HTTP. So the first thing we could do is try to, we can try to FTP to that site, right? So let's go ahead and FTP to the IP address and then use anonymous and log in. So let's do, all right. LS. So entering. So if you want to go ahead and turn this off, just go ahead and just do a control passive. That should be fine. And do another LS, and we should be good. All right. So if you get that, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. But at, anyhow, so we have these two files here. So we have locks and tasks. Task. So let's go ahead and get those. Let's go get locks, and we'll pull that down locally, and then we'll get. Uh, task.txt. Okay, so now we can go back here and do an ls and we should have these two files. Perfect. Let's go ahead and just hit goodbye, exit. Okay, so now we have those two files locally on our machine, right? So now what we can do is let's try to cat those out. Let's cat locks.txt. This looks like a passwords, some sort. Uh, let's hit, uh, that was lock. Let's do task. So let's look at the task. So let's start from the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and sc scroll this in a little bit. So, all right, so it looks like this is a plan right out of uh, to pick up on the moon, Lynn. So it looks like Lynn is maybe a username. So if we come back to our end map, let's go ahead and just go ahead and pat bounty just so we can check what's going on. And we have port 21 and 22. So we have SSH. So maybe this is a user for SSH. And let, let me go here. Let me cat tasks. All right, so Lynn is probably a username, right? And then if we cat locks, this is probably a password in here that's associated with Lynn, right? So what do we do now, right? What, we, what can we do now? So what we can do now is try to brute force the SSH, right? So let's go ahead and give that a jingle and see if we get any success. So let's just open up a new, let's open up a new one. Uh, let's go like this, sudo su. Let me just log in here quickly and then cd to there. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is use Hydra. Hydra. So Hydra, we're gonna do a dash L Lin because we that's the username. And we're gonna do dash P, we're gonna do uh do, 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 I think the locks, and then we're gonna do SSH, SSH, right? And then our IP address, which I already forgot. That's why we got copy and paste. And let's go to town and see if we can find a username and password that's in there. And once we have that. It's uh, nothing found. Uh, let's try it again. Hydra, Lynn, should be good. Let's see if it just uh, hiccups. So no password has been found. All right, that's really interesting. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's crackalacking. Let me just put Hydra, Hydra, and hit enter. 
So the login, yep, login. I just want to make sure I'm typing the same, the right syntax. So login is going to be lin, right? From our lin. This is pretty much what I see here. And now let's go back here. Just want to make sure everything is is good. Password. So we can use the password. Uh, do, 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 do. So I wonder if it's a big a big P because it's a file. Let's see, maybe that's what it is. Let's see. Um, let's see if that was it. There it is. See, just a syntax error. All right, so here we have the host, the username and password. So we have a password here. Let's go ahead and just copy this and just put it in some notes so we have it. And that's a, it's a good habit to get into is to um, document and put some stuff in some, some, uh, some documents and all that. Document your, prog your progress. So now we have a username and a password, right? So now what we can try to do is try to SSH using this username and this password, right? So let's go ahead and just SSH lin at uh, my IP address. Let's copy and paste this, okay? And let's hit enter. Yes. And my password is right here. Let's copy this, paste, enter, and fingers crossed, we are in. Okay, let's do an ls. We have user.txt, uh, user so let's at user.txt, and we have the first flag. So let's copy this flag. Let's go back to our thing. All right, so let's make this a little larger. Who wrote the list? I get Lynn. Um, which service did you brute force? SSH. Okay. Uh, what was the, let's put the user flag here. And the password we found was right here. Copy this password, throw it in here, submit. Okay, perfect. Now we just have to get the root flag and we should be golden. So now we can do a, like sudo dash L and we can put the password that we just copied. Okay. So we can see here, and this is what, you know, is good to know about privilege, privilege escalation. So now we need to escalate our permissions and our privileges in Linux. So what we're gonna do now is I wanna go out to a site, but we can see uh, bin tar can be ran as root, as you can see here. So let's go out to the interwebs and let's just go to GTFO bins and then we can search for tar and then we can do sudo. And technically, if we run this command here, it should give us root. Enter, who am I? I'm root, see that? So now we can cat root plus root.txt. I hope that's where it's at. And bada bing, we got it. So, whoops, whoop, whoop. Let's copy this. And then let's go back here and finish the room, paste. And bounty hacker has been pwned. So that was that was it, guys. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. Hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully my walkthrough is pretty easy to follow. And if you give it a thumbs up, like it, and uh, put some comments in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for viewing. And until next time, have a good one.